What's up guys? Droid Cam rooted back with another quick ROM overview. This time I have the Blisspop official version on my phone which is 5.1.1. This is the LG G2, the D802 variant. And let's check out the about phone section just to confirm that I'm running 5.1.1 on it. Um, this is Blip, Blisspop version 3.2 and it's an official state and it features the new Blackbird kernel for the G2. So official means it's like a milestone version. Um, and there's also nightly versions available. But um, yeah, let's check out the customization features and I'll show you how smooth this phone um, operates. Uh, yeah, check out this small review and enjoy. So you can see that I'm running actually Nova Launcher. If you wonder what I'm running, this is the Nova Launcher Material Beta. I think it's Beta 7 or something, Ben Beta um, 27. And you can see that I have customized this ROM a little bit, like the status bar, which I always like to do, is changing the battery icon to circle. And you can even change the color, as you can see here. Um, change to material green. Let's check that out in the Bliss interface settings. You can see that you have status bar and navigation bar options. Also, you can change the actual buttons here. You can edit them and you can, for example, put a search button in here or menu or power button even, which is kind of nice. Go to save and you have this power button down here and you can directly lock your phone. Which, which is very, very handy sometimes. Um, but of course, you can always restore the default settings here. Also, you can you can get like the double tap to sleep in there. Like when you want to double tap here, you can lock the phone. Works flawless, as you can see. Um, sometimes it's a little bit hard to pre press between those buttons. Um, when you have four buttons here, it's a little bit hard to double tap there. Navigation bar tint is also available. Like if you want to have red accents here, you can always do that. Um, wake up device, uh, you can volume buttons. It's a little bit weird because this phone has the power button on the back directly between those volume buttons. Um, navigation notification drawer, smart pull down is always a good thing when you have no dismissible notification. Um, so you can directly go to your toggles there if you don't have a, a, a notification which is dismissible. You can also f show four tiles per row. That means you can have more tiles in a smaller space which is kind of nice. And, you know, some other things which every custom ROM has are in this ROM, like status bar, notification, draw and heads up, notifications. But a nice thing um, to have is the ability to change animations on this phone, which I can show you now. check out the animations. What I find very interesting are those um, IME uh, animations which are for your default keyboard. Um, you can check that out. It's pretty cool. The um, slide in animation which you can enable here. Also the interpolator um, accelerate or overshoot. Check that out. The overshoot effect which is very nice. So you can enable some fancy animations here, which are very good. I have to try um, the SwiftKey keyboard, which I'm using as a daily driver on all my phones. I'm using uh, SwiftKey on all my phones. So I have to check if the animations work for that keyboard too. So very nice things here. The scrolling cache improves your scrolling performance. Um, default enable. 
is the default option here. And this ROM is really, really smooth. I can show you a benchmark result of Antutu in a second. But as you can see, when you tap on, on a menu, it's like instant, as you can see here. It's just insane, the speed. Pretty smooth experience on the G2 with Lollipop 5.1.1. Also, battery life is pretty good. So you get more battery life than the stock ROM. Um, let's go to the Intuitu benchmark test and I've run a benchmark and I got 44,000 points, which is directly between the HTC One M8 and the OnePlus One. As you can see here, if it focuses. So 44,000 points is really, really outstanding for this device. And as I said, it features the Blackboard, Blackbird kernel. And also under performance, you can check out the kernel auditor. And um, you have some kernel information here, the processor. Um, so you can change a lot of things here, like the CPU speed. Overclocking is not available with this kernel, as you can see here, this is the stock frequency, but you can change governors and the um, parameters for multi-core power saving and CPU boost. Let's go to kernel auditor very quickly and I show you that you can even change governor for the, the GPU. That's pretty good. Wake controls you can change. Um, like double tap to wake. Of course it works. Um, even if you don't have this kernel. Um, because this phone features double tap to wake, of course. So miscellaneous controls. Let's check out that uh, vibration strength. Mm, SE Linux support permissive. Um, SE Linux support, um, permissive, you need that if you want to install an app from the um, stock ROM for this phone, like uh, your your uh, quick um, remote app. You can even install it on the AOSP ROMs. Maybe I'll have a tutorial on that. So there's a flashable zip file you can download if you want to have quick remote on this phone. I can show you the zip file that I have downloaded. Um, download, and this is the zip file you need. This is quick remote uh, from the G3. This works uh, for your G2 if you have permissive um, SE Linux support. You can flash that and have the quick remote, which is very, very nice. I have it on my G3 um, to... Um, to uh, control my audio in my room. So yeah, enjoy the new Blisspop official version on 5.1.1 and enjoy the great performance on the G2. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, bye.